Hi everyone, today we will talk about how the inventions had been made possible in biology. So let's meet this person. He's the one who first of all discovered his personal microscope and his name is Robert Hooke. It was 1665 when he was working on cork cells and he discovered the terminology that we are familiar now that is cell. After that, many scientists came into being and the familiar ones are Leeuwen Hook, Shididen and Shawan. They worked a lot on cell and all of them they designed cell theory. But today we are not going to talk about cell theory. Let me talk about how the cell studies are possible. So now I will try to take the advantage to explain each and every part of the instrument microscope. I hope that all of you are familiar and in this one the most important thing is that you either use from bottom to top or top to bottom to explain and write its functions. So first of all, the base, this part that you see is the base that is very important to support the microscope so that it don't fall, you can see like this. If you go little above the base then we have this area that is called as the light source. Most of the students, they just try to look into the microscope, but they don't see anything. Don't forget that up behind each microscope, you have a small button and you need to turn it on that will help you to see through the microscope. Now, to increase or decrease light intensity, you have to use this button. So, this is base, then the lamp that is used to supply the light so that the image is clear. Just above the lens, you can see over here this small knob that is called as the diaphragm. And the diaphragm is used to regulate how much light should pass through the slide or the specimen. Above that, we need to see just above the diaphragm, we have this area. This one, this is called as the stage where you place your slide or the specimen. Then next thing is that the stage has these clips. These are called as stage clips that hold the slide in place on each microscope. Other than that, you have these two knobs and these two knobs are very important to look into the clarity of the image. The below one is called as fine adjustment this adjustment is to sharpen the image quality. The other one, the bigger one is called as the coarse adjustment. If you notice, coarse adjustment is used to move the stage up and down to bring the slide closer to the lens or away from the lens. Let's move up. This is the place from where I'm holding it from the beginning and this is called as arm. Arm is the place from where you hold it to take it from one place to another place. The arm has connected with three main parts. The first one is the eyepiece or ocular lens. Uh, the most important thing, remember, the magnification power is 10x. Then this one, this round you can see or circular shape, you can see this is a nose piece. The nose piece is connected with two or three different lenses which are called as objective lenses. The objective lenses are of high and low power. So if you see right now, this is 4x. If I keep rotating it, the next is 10x. The next one is 40x. And the last one is 100x. So these are the different types of high and low power lenses which are used for the magnification of the image. Now let me guide you with some important tip which is useful and you must keep it in mind. First of all, um, some of the microscopes have only one eyepiece as it is here but others have two eyepiece. If in case you have the microscope with one eyepiece, what you need to do is to close your one eye and look through the second eye. But if it is already two eyepieces, you don't need to close one eye, just directly put your eyes on both lenses. Secondly, uh, when you are looking through, you need to bring the slide, you want to zoom the slide or you want to magnify. So when you are moving the coarse 
adjustment make sure that before you move blindly first of all bring it all up and make sure you don't bump with the slide otherwise you will break the slide and first of all you bring it up and make sure slightly rotate it downwards slowly you can rotate it downwards and it will take the stage to magnify or change the resolution that's all for the microscope and i hope that you are familiar now with each part and its function thank you